Hi everybody, it's Allie, and welcome to the Sweet November Stamps Ghoulish Greetings YouTube Hop and Giveaway. Make sure you check out the description below for all of the giveaway details and the next person on the hop. Today we're going to be using the Midnight's 9 Live Stamp Set, and it's jam-packed with ghostly ghouly kitties. All right, we're going to start with the background. I've already created masks for all of the images on my cardstock and stamp them with black memento tuxedo ink. I've just cut an arch because we're going to create the sky first. We're just going to apply that to the bottom of the cardstock. And next I created a hand cut uh, mask. All it is is just a piece of copy paper and I've cut it kind of a zigzaggy. And then I've applied some pixie spray to the back. So this is going to create a mask. We're going to tap it in place and I have to tell you I wish I had taken a little bit of the stickiness away from the back of my mask because it left some residue and I'll show you how I got rid of that. Let's start with our background color. We're going to do our citron color first. We're going to add that right from top to bottom and it's going to be the majority of the color but we are going to bring in two other greens. I'm just making sure that I get down into all of those corners and all the gaps in my mask. Just pouncing away. And I'm just making sure that I have a good coat. This will just allow for a really nice blending surface. We're gonna bring in some mowed lawn this time, which is our medium toned green. Again, we're just going to blend it in. We're almost going to have our lightest at the top, darkest at the bottom for the most part. So I'm pouncing it in to the voids right down the center. Just making sure everything's smooth when we bring in our rustic wilderness, which is our darkest green. We're going to add that from the bottom, proceeding up to the top, kind of down the center. There we go. And then we're going to come in with a blending brush from the Mode Lawn, the medium tone, and just blend out any of the harsh edges of that dark green ink. There we go. Let's remove our masks. Now, once again, I had left some residue. You can't see it here, but there was some sticky residue left on my cardstock. So when I put on a new mask over top, which you will see me apply in a second here, it uh, picked up some of the paper fibers and I'll show you how I got rid of that gunky mess on my cardstock. Just a slow peel and it comes off pretty good. All right, we're just gonna mask off the sky now with the opposite piece of the masking tape. We're gonna use uh, the two darkest greens, Rustic Wilderness, and then blend it with Mode Lawn. And I wish I had cut around the bloom at the base of the gravestone, but I just got too impatient and just went for it anyway. Okay, so see that black spot where, where my finger is? That is the sticky part and it's picked up residue off the back of my mask. And so it's sticky. So I'm just gonna bring in my eraser, uh, my adhesive eraser, and just do small circles over the whole entire spot base where I put those zigzaggy masks and picking up all of the goo. It was uh, kind of a sad and upsetting, but you know, we make do. All right, we're going to take our uh, Twisted Citron and just pounce it down the edges of our zigzaggy green and just to create kind of a glow and just soften that white edge just to make it a little bit more spooky. Just pouncing it back and forth before I remove those ghostly kitty masks. All right, now that our masks are removed, we're going to work on our background and we're gonna work on the ground first. So I'm using a darker green marker. Sorry, I don't have my cap up on the screen there. I believe it's a G46 and we're just putting some lines in there. We're not even gonna go in and blend. Yes, I went right over top of the distress ink. So I'm getting rid of that ugly little piece on the bottom. We're just blending it in with a couple of greens. This is a YG17. And then I'm going in with a little bit of shadow with a G46. And again, I wish I had cut out that mask, but make do with what we're 
we've got. All right, let's on to go into the stone or the gravestone. We're going to put down a C2 to start. We're going to start mapping in any of the areas that are in shadow with a C04. We're going to go even with those nine marks on that grave. Okay, we're going to go in and blend back with that C2 again. And I want to kind of make sure that that little kitty head may li looks like it's actually popped up. Okay, C5, we're going to put a little, little pockmarked or stone detail in just a couple of polka dotties, big, small, everything in between. This just adds a little bit of detail. We're going back in with a C4 again to do the same thing. Put a little bit of shadowing underneath his paws. And this is just some of the fun detail that you can add. All right, sometimes I go in with another shade of neutral. So I started with my cool grays. This is a warm gray. I like to actually use them both, especially with stone, because not all rocks are made the same. Okay, uh, a couple more uh, details. We'll put some cracks. Basically, you're just drawing lightning bolts or tree branches to make them look like cracks. And the details are done. Let's go on to our ghosts. I'm only going to show you the coloring of one. They're all identical. I've already put down a base of YG01. That's why they're not white anymore. We're going to go in and randomly choose lines to basically follow for this YG03. Again, this is random because who knows what a ghost looks like, right? So we're just trying to go in and model the lines. So this is a BG45 and we're just adding a touch of blue. Sometimes we're overlapping the green, sometimes we're not. I'm just, again, I'm mimicking the lines that Amy has drawn here. And some of them are fat, some of them are not. Again, who knows what a ghost looks like. So we're just kind of making in the lines, body lines, uh, anything that uh, kind of looks ghostly. Again, we're not coloring this thing in. It's just the lines. Okay, and our last color is our FY1, which is a fluorescent orangey yellow, because a ghost just has to have that glow. And there we go. That's all of our ghost kitties. Let's work on the black cat. We're going to use three cool gray markers. We're going to start with a C9, and I'm just mapping underneath the chin, um, kind of the thigh, and we're putting in some of the details in the tail. So we're mapping out any place where we think the greatest amount of shadow is. We're even going to go underneath his fur on his cheeks and his nose. All right, our midtone is C7. It's quite dark, same with the 9. We're just mapping in a little bit more of that dark spots around the eyes, the bridge of the nose, in the ears. And I have forgotten to mask off one of his cheeks, which we will fix in a moment. Going to go into the tail and just add a little bit more of that fur detail down the center. There we go. Down on his thigh, underneath his toesies. Okay, and we're going to go on with C3, which is our lightest color. And I'm basically, I'm going to color all of the white details out. Now, normally, you would probably go in with a little bit more of that medium tone, but I want him to stand out, so we're not going too, too black for our cat. Some of the details with black ink don't always stay stark black, so I'm just going in with my multi-liner right now and adding in any of the details that have been lost with over inking with the distress oxides or anything that just needs a little bit of a black pop. And we're going to color in a pink nose and our pink flower very quickly. And just a quick blend. Okay. We're going to add in our white gel details. Sometimes you lose those bright spots in the eyes. So I'm just going to go in all the kitties, including the ghosts and put that little shine mark back in. And the last detail of today's card is going to be our wicked little fence. All I'm doing is drawing random sticks. We're going to put arrow tops on them. And then we're just going to put some funky connection lines. Trying not to make them straight, just all wonky up, down, 
sideways everything just to make it look even. And there's our card. I put on the boo sentiment and we also tucked in the other sentiment in the stamp set on the inside and our card is finished. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to leave a comment, subscribe, and enjoy the hop.